honestly guys, the anchor of my channel and the videos that bring in the most attention and the most new subscribers, uh, as well as the most organic views, are my scam troll videos. And a lot of you guys are curious as to how I find these scammers. I've seen numerous comments about it, so I figured today I would show you guys how I find my scammers and a couple ways that you guys can also find scammers if you want to do this yourself. Uh, because, you know, as much as I enjoy having this kind of unique aspect to my channel, definitely encourage that you guys do this yourself just because it, it's good for the community and it makes for an entertaining video as long as you put your own unique spin on it I don't really see an issue with it but as you can see I'm on my second account today this is mr. Tom Riddle um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now don't even look for this account because by the time this video is up all of it's gonna be changed and you're not gonna be able to find it this is the account that I use for trolling scammers it's my private account and this is uh, not an account that I'm gonna add you guys on so if you guys want to add me the link to my main account is in the description Anyways guys, so the first way to, that you can find scammers, and this is almost a guarantee, although it sometimes does take a little while, is to use CSGO Lounge. Now CSGO Lounge is supposed to be like a trading website, you put up what you have and what you want and then people can offer you stuff and directly contact you on Steam. And this sounds like a great concept, but it's really turned into a cesspool for scammers and people who want to steal from you. And I know Matt CS made a video on this a while ago, and this is how he finds the scammers that he trolls. From his videos, he just posts on CSGO Lounge, and then most of the time people will add him fairly soon after he makes a post. However, I find that I don't really use CSGO Lounge, and I tend to let the scammers come to me, but I figured I would throw it in here anyways. Bear in mind during all of this though, in order to properly troll scammers, you need to have something worth scamming. So if your inventory is completely empty, like mine is right now, it's important to understand that you're not going to be able to get anybody trying to scam you if you don't have any skins. All of my, all of the items in my inventory are cases right now, but I did send myself a trade request from my main account, uh, so I'm going to accept this with a, a couple knives and some other stuff, just to give myself something worth scamming. Generally, scammers won't go for you unless you have an item that's like $50 or higher. Um, it really depends. If you have a stupid expensive inventory, they most likely won't try and scam you as much, just because they'll they'll you know consider the fact that you're probably experienced at the game and it's not worth their time to try and get you with a stupid scam because you most likely won't fall for it so I think that having you know five hundred dollars or so worth of stuff is is a good medium ground I think it really brings in the highest volume of scammers uh, without without overdoing it so basically keep your inventory below five hundred dollars if you want to do this and that's why I have a bait account for this I would recommend making a second account if you want to get into making these videos anyways uh, but my main account can't be used anymore just because of all of the profile comments that are on it. Anyways, uh, the way that I find all of my scammers that I troll is by my groups on Steam. Believe it or not, this is an absolutely imperative part to finding these scammers, and you want to be in as many random trade groups as you can. Uh, and I, I would say that the, the number one group you want to be a part of is CSGO Lounge, just because there are so many scammers that reside around this website. I would guess that a lot of my scammers come from CSGO Lounge, as well as places like Slayers and CS Money and, and skin.trade and sites like that. So the best way to do this is to just go into your groups, hit browse groups, and just search CSGO trade. And just search keywords like CSGO trade or just CSGO and just join all of the bigger groups that you can. Definitely, definitely join groups like the Russian ones and stuff like that. It definitely will encourage a lot of people to see you. Uh, what they do is they go into your group and they go into the members of the group and then they just kind of, they kind of click on the most recent people to join and they'll look through their inventories and see what they have. If they don't have any skins, they move on to the next person. Uh, and they, they will do this until they find somebody with something worth scamming. So once you find somebody that's worth scamming and you see somebody with a lot of skins in their inventory, leave a comment on your profile or they will just straight up send you a friend request and try and message you there. So I have some friend requests stockpiled here uh, because I have a lot of scammers messaging me. So there isn't really much more to it than that. You just kind of join a bunch of groups, you play the game and you just wait. Uh, but now really quickly before I end this video, I am going to show you guys what I do to make sure that the person is a scammer before I start talking to them, just to make sure that they're they're not trying to waste my time or they're not a fan who happened to stumble across my account 
and is just trying to get into a video. I don't know why you would want to do that because of the backlash, but some people just want to get a shout out. Either way, um, you gotta go onto their profile and kind of just look at what they are involved in and look at their skins. This guy does not seem like he's a scammer. Um, he has a normal profile and there's nothing fishy, and by fishy I mean there's no links to other profiles and there's no weird stuff going on. Uh, here is an example. So this is a scammer's account. Uh, you can see they have a bunch of different random names. Most people don't really go too far off of their regular alias uh, online and also you can tell just by the artwork showcase, the screenshots, and the inventory uh, that you can see over 5 million skins traded since 2015. Yeah, I bet. Anyways, so you can see that they have a bunch of screenshots here, a bunch of keys in their item showcase. Um, you know, every they have they have Dota 2 and they actively play it. All scammers actively play Dota 2. Uh, <laughs> that was a joke. But as you can see, we also have three groups in common. So they probably found me through a group. Uh, but this is the surefire way to tell. If you go to their inventory and it's private, but they have a link to their inventory in their profile description, they are 98% of the time a scammer. So if we click on the person's inventory and then we click on the account that the inventory belongs to, as you can see, it's a completely different account. Now the account is level zero and doesn't have anything going on, so it may just be a vault account, but I still don't believe that it's actually this person's account. The only people that have super, super high tier vault accounts like this are, you know, some of the biggest traders in the world, and they don't just add random people, they let people come to them because they're that established. Another way to tell is to see what the person is buying in, and he says, I'm currently buying and selling in opskins.com, which means that this is going to be an OP skin scam. He wants to see if your items can be posted on OP skins to make sure they're marketable, which is where he gets you with the scam. He sends you a fake trade offer, you accept it, and he blocks you. So as you guys can see, this is a scam account. It's important to recognize which accounts are scam accounts and which accounts are just people trying to add you uh, because this will number one keep your items safe and it will also allow you to have some fun trolling people. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I'm going to end it here. There isn't really much more to say. I hope it wasn't too long. I just wanted to show you guys how I find my scammers and what I do to look out for them. Um, hopefully this helps you guys find some scammers of your own to troll or just find some scammers of your own to avoid. But that is going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Um, all of that crap. I am giving away a flip knife vanilla if you guys made it this far in the video So if you guys want to click the gleam link in the description you can enter the giveaway There's 10 days left on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as well uh, And that's gonna do it. I will see you guys in the next video